Captain in Bali. How are you feeling about your main course? It's not the conventional bunny chow because the bunny chow is usually served with a wheat bread or a normal bread. But we chose to add our heritage and make it steamed bread. Shall we? Yes, sir. Mark and Bali, another great creative execution of a classic South African dish. I'm seeing you on the plate. I think the play of the of the sweet bread uh, with a perfectly spiced curry was probably the highlight for me. The curry had a great bite. It was aromatic. Head back into the kitchen, and we'll see you back in a little while for the dessert. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Bye, like, uh... right, everybody. Enjoy. Thank you. The curry for me, there's not enough gravy. I'm used to more of a hotter curry, more heat, more flavor. We won't even go to the coleslaw because oh. that was the most useless condiment I've ever had. I'm just enjoying the meal, but I can see nobody's enjoying the meal. There's loads more discussions rather than eating. Lager, why didn't you eat your food? What's going on? <laughs> no, I did. I did. I really did. I ate everything inside. I'm balancing myself out in terms of starch. Yeah, it was. Nice, a nice stew for me. Stew. <laughs> but yeah, overall, an average dish for me. Um, it's one of those meals, sometimes you eat something and you get a bit worried that the tan opera. And I didn't want this to end. So I, I really love it. <laughs> 